Fly, Ladybug, fly, be free! My name is Annie and welcome to the Swan Station. Today is the Swan Station's very first balloon animal tutorial. I don't know if you know this, but me and my sisters have been doing balloons for like nine and a half, ten years. And we used to go to farmers markets and make them for people and over the years we've picked up a few favorites and we've even invented a couple balloon animals of our own that we like to give out to people. So we are going to be sharing with you some of these special balloon animals that we make and today I am sharing with you one of my favorite creations, ladybugs or like this one here is a ladybug on a leash. Another variation ladybug bracelet. Now this is a balloon animal I love to recommend to parents with like little little kids where they might drop the balloon or might try to eat it a little bit more than what would be safe for a balloon. You really don't want little kids to go and bite balloons because they can actually pretty hurt them pretty bad. They could suffocate. So what I like to do is I like to make ladybugs on a leash so that little kids can just go do 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 walk their little ladybug around. Or you can make a regular ladybug, just like this. Or you can make a ladybug that is on a bracelet for those little kids who just like to drop things, right? And it just stays at them and they get to kind of play with it and they get to poke at it and they don't lose it. One of my favorite, favorite things to make. So for this balloon, we are going to be using a pink balloon because this is my favorite color to make the adorable little ladybugs with. And we don't have to blow it up a whole lot. We just have to blow it up about four or five inches. So we are gonna do that right now. Poof, and there we go. We've got our balloon. It's about, whoa! Hello, little fella, how'd you get there? It's about four or five-ish inches. All right, so this is a very simple, not many twists. Okay, here we are all zoomed up so you can see what I'm doing. We are going to start with a tiny twist right here. And that is actually the only little bobble we make during this entire thing. Just one little twist. It's about an inch long. We're gonna give this side, the balloon, a little bit of a squish. We're gonna bend it over while pinching here where the tail meets the end of the balloon. And you're just going to really tightly wind the tail around this bobble. And then you're gonna pull, make sure it's tight. And then you're going to pull it through the main twist right here. A little pull. Give it a couple pulls and that is it. You have your ladybug. It is fast, it is easy, and it doesn't take a lot of strength because you don't have to blow up the balloon very far. Now, if you wanted it to be like this little guy right here, you would just wrap the tail around and tie it off. And you would have a little ladybug without the tail. Now, for a ladybug on a leash that's a bracelet, what you're going to want to do, especially with little kids, because you don't want to cut off circulation by making them a very tight bracelet, you're going to loosely measure around their wrist and then you're gonna take the balloon, and I just make a little loop here. I go under once, right? Pull, wrap it around my finger, pull it through. Basically, you tie a knot, right? And it's gonna look a little tighter than it is because it's a balloon. And then I'm gonna put it around my wrist. There you go. As you can see, I can do this pretty easy. Balloons are stretchy, but they also can cut off circulation. So you wanna make sure they're actually a little bit loose and they're not gonna hurt a little kid's circulation. It helps if they have like long sleeves or a jacket because you can tie it to the size of the jacket sleeve. But right here, I have it, it's not too tight on me. And I have a little balloon that's not going anywhere. Another important step is a face, of course. I do a little circle, a little upturned eye, puppy dog eyes, and then I do a little lashes because they're ladies. And then I do a little smile right here. But I like to draw a couple little spots. I'm just using a black Sharpie marker. You want the marker to dry by the time you hand it to them. And as you can see from earlier, I was making some blue animals. I've got some marker on me. That's okay. You might end up getting some marker on you if they don't dry fast enough. That is how you draw the spots. For darker color balloons, I actually use a silver. It's called Silver Metallic. Sharpie marker. It's just so much fun. Hey everybody, so that was my tutorial on how to make my little ladybugs on a leash, ladybug bracelets, and ladybugs. 
I love them. They are my favorite. And now I have a whole bunch of them that I have to do something with. <laughs> fly, fly, be free. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Swan Station if you'd like to see more videos from us. Click that little bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications when a new video comes out and leave a comment down below with what balloon animal tutorial you'd like to see from us next. In the description, there are links to our social media and I will see you next time at the Swan Station. Bye!